As governor, I came in at the depths of the recession, and we turned my state around. Rhode Island had the biggest drop of the unemployment rate over my four budgets of all but one state. Happens to be Nevada, where we're having this debate. I'm Senator Ed Markey from Massachusetts, and I'm so sorry I can't join with you today for the 2018 Institute for Critical Infrastructure Technology Winter Conference. To the folks up in Barton, this is a simple one. We've got to build out renewables as fast as we know how. Small hydro is a part of the puzzle. Let's get it done together. Good. So at 11, about 11.10 Eastern Standard Time, I think it's fair to say you'd rather be Joe Biden than President Trump. <laughs> 155 years ago today, Major General Gordon Granger and his Union troops landed in Galveston, Texas. Major General Grander brought with him news that the Civil War was over. He also read a proclamation that in part said the following. The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free. I'm Peter Welch, and I'm running for the United States Senate to work for you, for Vermont, for our country, and for our imperiled democracy. We know farmers are important to Vermont. They're part of our culture, our brand, and a critical part of our economy, especially in rural parts of the state. That's why it's so important that we find ways to continue supporting this sector. Okay, uh, good morning to everyone. I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues who are here with me today. To my left, you'll hear from him in a moment, Michael Dowling from uh, Northwell Health, which has uh, done a, just a fantastic job, uh, not just at this facility, but all across the state. And I wanna thank him very much. Yep, the president is coming in for uh, the Coast Guard uh, graduation. Actually, on Sunday night, I got to, to see uh, uh, one of the parades that the Coast Guard puts on mm -hmm. um, and was the, uh, troop the line, as they say. So I inspected the, uh, uh, all of the, uh, the gathered uh, cadets. Um, we are here today because right now, as we speak, Donald Trump is engaging in an unprecedented and unconstitutional attack on our democracy that is unlike anything we have ever seen before. But as I said over and over again, Obamacare was hardly perfect. It did a lot of good things, but it needs improvement. I was going impromptu and my brain didn't catch up to my mouth. I, instead of saying Maine women, I said white women. If you go, and I'm not going to apologize to the Maine women for that, because if you go to Maine, you will see that we're essentially 95% white. Well, I think, you know, he's, uh, he's in, as everybody knows, he's investing a tremendous amount of uh, his personal wealth in, uh, in both talent and, uh, and commercials and so forth. This is the first step is about mm -hmm. a $35 million uh, tax savings to the, uh, to the people who live in the state, but it also is a $35 million challenge in the budget because that's $35 million of revenue you're not going to get. We, we estimate to get to Massachusetts levels, it will save um, taxpayers about $173 million. Jim, great to be here. 